All right, hey, people, um, I don't usually record videos with my voice in them, but uh, I've had some requests after having some conversations and comments of other YouTube videos about this game uh, for people to uh, that wanted to see my build. So I'm making this to kind of show you guys what my build looks like, specifically because it is mostly a one-shot kill build. Uh, now this is an end game type build, so as you can see, I'm pretty stacked here. Um, I would have the game 100 complete, 100 percented, but there is one quest, as you can see here, that is bugged out. So just real quick, I'll kind of touch base on this. Just hopefully you don't make the same mistake. Uh, in Hogsmeade, there's a quest, Take the Biscuit. So uh, what happened is I took that biscuit a little too early. There's a poacher camp over here that I found when I was exploring. It's got a giant cage in it with a lock on it. Now the way that this bug happens is if you clear that camp out before you accept that quest and you try to unlock that big cage, the lock disappears. So now on that quest, when it comes time for me to have to move the quest forward by unlocking the cage, the lock's no longer there. Uh, the devs are aware of it. They are working to fix that. So it will be fixed in a later patch. So unfortunately for now, I'm kind of stuck just shy of uh, maxed out level 40. Um, which, of course, this build is going to be even more powerful uh, once that's complete. First thing I'm going to go over is the talents that I recommend. Of course, there might be something that is better to your play style. Now for spells, I went through everything in here except the uh, levitating one just because I don't use that very much in combat. Uh, dark arts, just max that out. Might be some things in here I don't use, but for the most part, uh, these are all really good to have. Uh, the core, the only ones I didn't pick up, again, have to do with levitating. Uh, Revelio expansion is pretty pointless, and uh, this ancient magic throw uh, didn't get that. A reason being is that um, I'd rather go with this one here, where you turn them into a fire barrel and you throw that instead. A couple extra perks that I used, just these are kind of throwaways. Uh, the venomous tentacula breaks enemy shields, which can be useful. I just got this. I haven't really used it in combat yet. I've seen some other uh, videos on it saying that it's pretty uh, pretty powerful. Uh, focus potion, maxima potion. I don't really use potions. I don't really need them. I'd imagine um, with the maxima potion and this build, you'd be able to one-shot trolls even. So I might even try that out. We'll uh, test that out. Uh, but yeah, that's the talent build now as far as the gear goes the important thing with this is that you want to have all three level upgrades on everything so make sure you're collecting things in your bestiary uh, if you haven't gotten to the end yet to get the grab horn just buy it in in hogsmead every you know every time you sell your gear go ahead and buy a couple grab horn horns the, the Phoenix Feather you're not going to be able to have, so uh, you're not going to be able to fully upgrade this more till toward the end game anyway. The trait is also important. Now, I, I just switched it up. I was doing three Concentration Level 3 and three Unforgivable Level 3. Uh, I now switched that up to just all six of them is Concentration Level 3 stacked which as you can see here significantly increases the damage of all damage spells uh, which is pretty much all the spells that you're going to be use, using in combat to hurt people you're going to have to cast them less and you're really going to uh, pack a punch when you do hit them uh, as you can see here when you s actually level everything up you do become pretty stacked as far as offense and defense goes so combat's not really much of a challenge anymore. I'm, I'm just going on medium difficulty. I haven't really tried it on hard yet. But if you're trying, if you are playing on hard, 
I can, you know, run a test, but I'm sure you're still going to be doing a lot of damage that way as well. So just to kind of show you here, let's uh, hop in this battle arena. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hurt some hurt some bad guys. Those spiders. An attack of some sort. You You must answer for what you did to us in the morning. Let me out, so. Let me out, so. All right, we're going to freeze them. Freeze in the slice. That's a really good combo right there. Where's the spider at? You're pulling him toward you. Fire blast. That's also a really good one. Even the disarm really, uh, really works good. Yeah, let's get rid of these uh, fire guys first here. Alright, um, this guy is pretty powerful, so we're gonna set him aside for now. We're gonna curse this one. Bing bang boom. And then we're gonna kill you. And then oh, you're all dead. What happened? Where'd you guys go? This disarm. You're dead. Disarm. Disarm, you're dead. Curse, 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 curse. Hey bro, fight for me. Disarm, instant kill. Depulso. Oh, he's got shield. Okay. How about you? The flip and the slam. That's a really good one. Alright, these guys all got a lot of yellows on them. So how about you slow down, pump the brakes. Uh, you, you're gonna turn into a fire barrel, kill this guy. Oh, uh, fire. Okay, cool. The Glacius and the Slice is just a really good combo. back here why are you hiding I mean yeah as you can see it's, it's pretty effective the unforgivables are really of course great can I transform you into a barrel now I can't all right let's focus here Alright, big spider, you gotta fight for me. Uh, we're gonna crucio some of these zombies. That doesn't hurt them, I knew that. Alright. Come here. Done. Oh, spider's done. Spider's back. 
Disarm. Oops. Bro, right, chill. You take a timeout. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, Depulso here. This is a pretty good one. Also, will kill them. There's a victory that came none too soon. Oh. So yeah, that's that's the build. Uh, I'm gonna show you something else as well. Um, good way to get rid of trolls really fast in combat. Besides the Abada Cadaver, obviously. Um, where's a troll hideout? Yeah, there you go. It's a good one. So this is really useful for fighting trolls fast. No more happy days for you. I, I really hate goblins. Hang on, I just want to kill this guy in the worst way possible. I'm just warming up. Alright. Yeah, let's go find these trolls. Do, 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 do. Flying through the air. Oh, you know what? Let's try out the plant on these goblins. Wow, yeah, that's actually pretty powerful. Oh, here we go. Here's a troll. So this is what you want to do. You want to use the... Um, the mind control curse. I don't really know the names of this stuff, but what you do is you you hit him with that, and while he's just standing here, you can do this with most enemies. You can hit him with the Petrificus Totalis, Petrificus Totalis. and they die real quick. Makes light work of the uh, trolls. Or alternatively, what you can do with the trolls is um, hit one with the that, and then hit the other guy with the Avada. It'll kill them both that way. Is this a double troll? Let's try to find one that has two. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Seems a pleasant enough little place. No, just one. So yeah, again, just. Imperio's ass. Petrificus. Petrificus. And he's toast. So over here, let's go kill these guys. Oh, goblins. Yeah, I don't like them. Goblins are uh, responsible for all the uh, all the crime in the land. You're done. Where are you at? Oh, you Levioso. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much all I got to show you right now. So um, if you guys find this helpful, maybe I'll start recording more videos with audio in it and uh, walkthroughs and stuff for this game. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that you're stuck on in this game, I've pretty much figured out everything as far as puzzles, locations of everything, things that they haven't even made walkthroughs yet for, uh, figured out. So uh, if you have any questions in the comments, you know, feel free to ask and I'll, uh, I'll get back to them, either make a video for you or respond. You're a barrel now. Try it, buddy. The counter attack is really powerful, too. Stupefy. Well, well.
Yeah, so, you know, you're, you're pretty much like um, Proto Voldemort at this point. Unstoppable. Just a, just a real, just a real cool, cool wizard. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. No, you don't really have to do that. I don't, I don't care about that. Uh, but if you'd like to, I'll probably start making more videos like this in the future for uh, this game and others that I play. All right, thanks for watching.